We have um, a group of scouts that are way too old to be um, in scouts, or they should know that they're too old to be in scouts. And my character realizes that, um, doesn't want to be a part of it. However, um, the character Augie, uh, played by Joey Morgan, um, is fully embedded in scouts, you know. He has loved it ever since he was a child and uh, is confident being a, a scout. And um, his father passed away a couple years ago and uh, scouts was the only thing that he really had to latch on to um, along with us. And so we're having a hard time deferring away from scouts uh, because uh, it's been so near and dear to him. And so we want to step into adulthood, but it's hard for us to because we don't know necessarily how Augie is going to take it. I'm two steps into adulthood. I uh, would love to get laid if I could. Um, you know, I'm stealing liquor from my parents' cabinet, probably. Um, Ty um, is a little bit in the middle, you know? He wants to step into adulthood. He wants to have fun like every high schooler does, but he also doesn't want to step on Augie's toes. And then Augie, Joey, is um, completely immersed back into childhood still. And um, he's having a hard time letting go of that completely. I knew some of Chris's work from the past. I know he had been involved in the uh, paranormal activity and stuff like that. But um, what drove me the most was they, it was just such a new concept. And that was so refreshing. And to think that he has kind of created this new world where nobody's really touched upon it before. And it was really, really interesting. And meeting Chris, I mean, some of the, uh, you know, pre-production stages of the uh, entire thing, he, laid down this line of, I want you guys to have the freedom to kind of play with these characters. And um, I'm somebody who really loves improv and I love just kind of going off the script and diving into the character in that way. And um, he's given us that artistic freedom, which is, uh, it's, it's really satisfying and I have enjoyed it thoroughly because of it. Well, I mean, you know, the thing is like, Kids these days, and I mean, kids any time frame have always been raunchy, you know? I mean, you're living in that teenage stance where it's like, I can get away with anything with my friends. Of course, you know, I'm gonna be good and decent around my, my parents or something, but when it comes down to hanging out with your friends, you guys are raunchy, you're doing whatever you can do, you know, you're doing pranks, just like going balls to the wall. So I think that that gives a good reality to these kids, you know, and that makes it relatable. and you know, teenagers are gonna enjoy it and adults are gonna enjoy it as well because like they know those characters because they were them themselves in that point.